I want to let everybody in on a conversation I had the other day, and I actually want to see what Mr. Brian Adamson has to say. Let's welcome to the show, and I'll paint the picture. How are you doing, Brian? I'm doing well, Mike. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I, so I want to sit you in the chair next to me at this lunch that I had the other day and, and kind of paint the picture of a couple I was talking with. You ready? Mm -hmm. So both of these individuals were six-figure earners. Uh, they were engineers and computer scientists folks working in the Silicon Valley. Uh, they had two kids. Um, they have some money tucked away. They have some options or stock coming that is, you know, six figures. And they're stressed out. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, they, 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 money's not the problem for them, which I know is a, it, it's, it's unique. Time is their problem. And while I was having this conversation, they know they need to do something, right? They know they need to invest. They know they, they and they want to do real estate. So let's get that out of the way. The fear that I saw, and it was fear, is they thought their only option was syndications. And they have heard me rail against syndications recently about the pain coming. And, um, you know, I listened patiently and I, I sort of shared my thoughts with them. But, you know, if you were in the room with me, what, what would you ask? What would you recommend? Because I know there's a lot of people out there that want to do this. But they just don't think they have time. So what, what would be some of the questions or thoughts you might have had? So you're never going to have time until you make time. Right. So our. I would say our ideal client that we work with in our program. Is the person I was five years ago, stuck in corporate America, making six figures a year trying to figure out how to get my time back. Right. So that, that they're, they're the quintessential example of that. Mm -hmm. And what I illustrate during our five day challenge is I show them how it's not about. It's not about how much time do you have? It's about how much time do you spend working on the right things? Yeah. See, if you go out and try to bake the cake from scratch and you figuring out every ingredient and you you messing up the recipe as you go, nobody has time for that. I mean, yeah, oh, you're yeah. not a person in that in that situation, but you have the means. So no different than you went out and invested in some college professor to teach you how to become an engineer and get a career. Then go find some professor called mentor coach who's went out and created wealth and have them show you what they did. Because what happens is we show people how to take 10 to 12 hours a week and go out and build a six and seven figure business because practice don't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So if you, if you, if you take the little time that you have or that you create, right. And, and you start to, 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 to do that in a very calculated fashion, you can move the needle really quick if you stay consistent in doing that. And this is an illustration that I actually put on a whiteboard where I show them, this is something I've been able to do, Mike, successfully in multiple industries now where I call it mastery stacking, okay? And so you take whatever you do today, let's call it 12 hours, right? And then over here, your future, you're doing it zero right now, right? Mm -hmm. You incrementally just start to move yourself over. So then you go from doing this 10 hours, right? Which is just a representation of you're, you're now allocating some of this time that you did devoted 100% of the time to this then over here. That could start out with being 30 minutes a day, Mike. The key is yeah. though, similar to your do, do your do the work. The key is that 30 minutes has to be unencumbered. Yeah. You know, no bathroom breaks, bring your water in the room with you. You would be surprised. We're so overstimulated as a society now. If you were to put your phone on do not disturb and lock in for 30 minutes, you'd be amazed at how long 30 minutes is to just focus on something with no distractions, right? You start doing that. And this is like Darren Hardy talks about in the compound effect. You start doing that consistently over time. Well, that thing is what you focus on most expands. That 30 minutes now becomes an hour and you look up and then that hour becomes two hours. So from 1, 1 p.m., uh, to 3 p.m. for the last four years, Mike, that's my creative time. So how do I go from single family to then buying commercial multifamily? How do I go from that to owning a cigar company? How do I go from that to buying a hotel? It's the same process. And I'm not giving anything up. I'm just making the time allotted for it so that I can get masterful at it. And then it just adds to everything else that I already do. I know that was my rant. You go. 
Yeah, there's a couple of things, and and I didn't know where this was going to go, and that's we do this on purpose, right? We don't we don't uh, when we do these shows, we just get a topic and go. For sure. Uh, what I reminded these folks, and again, I listened very patiently, and they're friends of mine, or uh, let's call them good acquaintances, right? So I know them, right? Um, I had to go back and remind them that I was that person in 2002. Same deal, same story, same stuff. And I really did, I wanted to do two things in that conversation. First is I wanted to change their goal. A lot of people in that situation, in my experience, in this this example was that, is they all, they all go to the end. I need to replace multiple six figures of income. That's going to be hard. I don't know if it's possible. I have to go bigger. I have to buy be a part of 100, 1,000, 2,000 units. That's just where their mind goes. And I remind them that bigger is not better. Being a part of something else with no control is not better. It's different, not better. Um, so the first thing I wanted to do with them is just change the goal and say, just get to four. Stop trying to think about a thousand and think about four. Right? Make four the goal. Can you get to four in four years or eight years? Now, in their situation, no problem. Four year, one a year for four years, done. Let's make that the goal. Because what happens in 20 or 30 years, even if those four are all you get, they're likely paid off. Yeah. You likely your rent is likely doubled or tripled in the next 30 years or 20 years or whatever you want it to be. You are in a much, 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 much better place. Let's make that the goal. So that was the first thing I always do. Then the second thing I did is I went right back to just go buy my freaking course. It's 399 bucks. What are you freaking, you know, you're not going to get it for free just because I know you go buy the damn thing. And it's 20 minutes a day. We're going to give you a buy box. I told you what mine was. I wrote about it in my book, 93703. I don't need to repeat it again. And you're going to look at it for 20 minutes a day. Your job is to figure out what an average deal is and then buy one great deal a year. Stop being lazy. Stop bitching. I found 20 minutes a day. You can too. I mean, I, I, I hear it so often. I'm like, you, you're making excuses on why you have to do this other. You want to give hundreds of thousands of dollars to people that you don't know. Are you freaking kidding me? Right. That's the answer. When you have no experience, right. Just go, go. Let's just get to four. If the answer after you get four is you want to syndicate after you have experience, fine. But damn, man, I got to tell you, too many people jump to the end. Let's just get to four, everybody. After you get to four, we'll decide what to do next. Yeah, that that's, man, it's, you know, so much of that I agree with, Mike, because we always start with the end in mind and reverse engineer the process to get there, right? When people come in, because we teach wholesale and fix and flip and cash flow, they always say, you know, where should I start? I'm like, well, it starts with your goal. If you want chunks of money, then you need active income, right? Cash flow won't be your thing. But if you're looking to create residual income to get out of your job or, re or, or cover your monthly expenditure, what have you, cash flow will be the way to go, right? So it's always start with the goal. Here's the other part that I, and I don't want to make this assumption for your, your, your acquaintances, but I can make it for many people in their position that I've talked to. Yeah. We got to lead with some humility. Yeah. We got to stop thinking because we got money that we get to skip the line because that's the fastest way to light the money on fire. You have to take the so same agree. you yes. did when you went out and built said career, treat real estate investing with the same level of, of importance and go and do it the right way. You don't get the money doesn't exonerate you from doing the work. It just doesn't. Yeah. So we got to lead with a, a, a posture of humility. And then we also got to stop. We got to stop placating, like stop pussyfooting around. Which one is it really? Do you really yeah. want more time? Because that has an anatomy and you got to do some work the same way that you do work in this environment that has consumed all of your time. So, yeah. so stop to your point, stop making excuses. There is no work around. Find a system that works for you, but you got to go work the system, period. Yeah. Or you can invest blindly and you can also go to Vegas and put it on the table. Yeah. If that's what you're into. Right. I that statement, you can't you don't skip the line because you I love that. That's exactly what these folks, I mean, not them specifically, but I've talked to hundreds, if not thousands of they're like, hey, I've got 250 grand or 100 grand, and they think they can skip the line. No, jackass. You got to do the work just like everybody else. In fact, 
you probably got to do the work more because the money's clearly burning a hole in your pocket and you want to put it on black. What are you doing? It's crazy. Oh, so Brian, where can somebody find you? Cause you're putting out just a lot of great stuff. Yeah, man. Brian Adamson official on YouTube and Instagram. Please send me a DM on Instagram. I love to talk to you guys. Just a lot of great people that's come from your community, Mike, um, that I've got to, to meet acquaintances with. So I love it. Awesome, man. We're going to sneak in a third conversation. We're so lucky. Thanks, buddy. Let's do it.